It's Nicholas Mack. Yeah. Been very busy this week, so I have not been able to get any videos out. Remember, I've had lots of work to do, so. Anyway, we're back in the house. I've got one of my uh, PlayStation cameras logged in. Okay, you can see. This is the PlayStation camera on my little thing here in cheese. I ended up getting three for a pound. And they're fantastic little devices for the money. Okay, so if you want a cheap camera, go and get one from CEX or somewhere like that. They're like, they're pittance. And I'm sure if they've got six in stock, they will sell you all of them for one pound fifty. Anyway. Moving on to the video of tonight. Okay, so you've got loads of DVDs. You never play them, do you? Well, you can't be bothered to go and get the DVD, put it in the player, and go through all that rigmarole and stuff. So what I've done for Sneaky Wife, I've set her up a OMS Open Media Centre thing, okay, for, for, with a Raspberry Pi. So she can play all her DVDs through the Pi from a hard disk. So how do we rip these discs legally? Right, this is the disclaimer before we go any further. Ripping DVDs and Blu-rays is not legal in all countries. So please be aware that in some countries you're not allowed to do this. But in the UK it's a sort of grey area, but if you own the DVD, which I own all of the DVDs, so it's no big deal for me, I'm allowed to back them up and put them where I want to. Okay, So they go onto a little Seagate 1 terabyte drive, little tiny thing, the same size as the Pi, so it sits underneath the Pi. So it's a tiny, tiny little thing. Anyway, moving on. So how do we do this? Right, the easiest way I'm going to show you. I've got a Band of Brothers DVD plugged in here. So that's one. What one is that? That's the fifth one or the fourth one. So how do you do this? Okay, the easiest way. There are other ways. So don't leave comments and saying well. There are other ways of doing this. So I'm going to open up Handbrake for you, and we'll see what we do. So here we are. It's quite easy, and this is the general one you get when you install Handbrake from a repo. Okay, So it's hunky of the dory, easy. Now the preset it's got here is the official one, and it's general, fast 1080. Now I would use this if I had a smaller TV, but we've got a big, 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 big 65-inch curve Samsung TV. So that probably wouldn't have the quality that I wanted, but I'm going to show you how we do that in a minute. So I'm going to open my source app, so we click on Open Source. And there's my DVD. Now it's the video TS file you need every time. For older DVDs, you will find there will be an audio one as well. But video TS is the one you want. So I'm going to open that. Oh, look, and there we go. Okay. Now, because I've had this in already, it's already gone and scanned it. It will scan it for around about 30 seconds. Okay. Now, please remember when you're ripping DVDs, the more cores and the more threads, the quicker it's going to be. So if I go to title, now there's two episodes per DVD here. Because we're in about an hour each. So the first one is one hour nine minutes, and the second one is 56 minutes, okay? Roughly. I'm not counting the seconds. Don't be pernickety, okay? But as I said to you before, that quality wouldn't be any good for me, okay? On a large screen. I would say sub 40 inch TV plasma or something, it'd be fine, okay? You wouldn't notice any difference. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change that to something I would use. So what I normally do here is go down to super high quality, 30 frames a second. Surround, okay. Now that was nice and easy, but I want the first one, don't I? Now I can show you this picture. I'm not breaking any laws by showing you this still. This is a still from the DVD, and this is what comes up on Handbrake when you do it. So it's nice and easy. As you can see, the size is 720 by 576 storage and 1024 by 576 display. Actually, comes out really nice full screen for me. So yeah, I'll be happy. And the display aspect ratio is 16.9 for me. <sighs> Super duper. And if I put another uh, hat on my Pi, I could have really decent audio for it as well. But at the moment, it's just coming through the TV. So that's what I would use. What do you do? So you just want one chapter at a time. Don't do both because it gets confused. All you do is click on Start Encoding. Now, I'm not going to click on this because I've already ripped this for Sneaky Wife. And it's on the hard disk as it is. But that's all you do. But all I would say is if you go back to your settings again, make sure you choose the correct settings for you, okay? So you can do it in Matroshka if you want to. There's loads and loads of options here for whatever you want to do. Yes, you can do 4K in here. You can rip Blu-ray and do them. I've done them, okay? But don't give me stupid messages saying, me, 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 me. You can do them, okay? So that's the easy way to put all your movies onto a hard disk 
link them up to your TV. There's no DVDs in the room. You can play whatever you want. And I'm lucky enough that the remote on the Samsung actually plays with the Pi really nice. It all plays happily together. Only one remote for everything. So I'll close that down. Is the camera still running? Yes. Thank you, PlayStation camera. You're super duper. The other two I'm going to use on a Raspberry Pi Zero for security cam, so super duper. So that's how you do your DVDs backing up only in certain countries. Please be aware of your laws where you live. Yeah, be aware. That's how you do it. Nice and easy, really. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.